doesn't like the Ghostbusters. And I have found that everywhere I've gone, everything I've done. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters. I love that movie. <laughs> I can't think of one person who's not too fond of it. My wife, but she's coming around a little bit. Well, you know, having one of these wife happy. Um, yeah, it's all happy wife, happy life. Words to live by. Yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> just keep it away from her. Just keep your distance from that stuff. Because they get sick of it real fast. You know, with somebody like me, I mean, the original ghost head, the king of the Ghostbusters, man. Uh, it kind of seems to just come out of my mouth every time I start talking to somebody. And she's just like, uh, here we go again. <laughs> you know, I, I've... I've been doing it for so much time, and I had such pleasure and enjoyment out of doing it that, you know, it's, it's hard to give it up. I'm not going to say it's like a drug, but it certainly is uh, an addiction. Me, like, I feel like it's part of my identity, because, like, I've lived by it, like, my whole life, and you've lived it your whole life. I love it. Trust me, nobody gets through life without having problems. But uh, sometimes you can find something like Ghostbusters, which takes your minds off your problems and, uh, you know, can put your energy and enthusiasm in another direction. Hopefully, positively. We like being a Ghostbuster, all right? Mm. Now, you had another date in mind. According to my source... The end of the world will be on February 14th in the year 2016. Valentine's Day. Bummer. Special. Abigail and myself, I mean, we've been together for seven years. It hit me and I was like, it's going to have to be Valentine's Day. Bummer. The end of the world. Abigail and myself getting engaged. I reached out directly to Ivan Reitman's company. We knew the trailer was coming out for the new movie. It hadn't been released yet. And I thought it would be cool if I could trick her into thinking that we got like an advanced copy and that they were going to use reaction shots of people watching it for marketing purposes. So I was able to convince her that we got the trailer. She was extremely excited. We got in full gear and I rolled, uh, you know, I recorded the whole thing. That's what Ghostbusters means to me. 